I have a few mugs. Mr. Cheesy Pop! Hey everyone, it's Max, and one of the things that I have gotten a lot of requests on is to show off my mug collection. Specifically, my Disney mug collection. Uh, I just actually went through my cabinets and did a cleaning out of some, and these are the remaining mugs that actually are in my cabinets, and I took them all out again for you guys so I could make a video to show you all of my Disney mugs. Uh, so they are all up here, and I am on the floor. <laughs> so let me give you guys a closer look at my Disney mug collection. When you sit here and you look out onto your kitchen table and see how many mugs you actually own, you're like, do I have a mug problem? And the answer is yes, I do. <laughs> but also I feel like that a lot of you watching have this same issue. Do you have a Disney mug addiction? Do you stand each morning at your kitchen cabinet trying to decide which mug is the right one for your coffee? Can you survive a trip to the Disney parks without the purchase of a Disney mug? No, you are not alone in this struggle. And quite frankly, I don't think it is a struggle. So keep on buying those Disney mugs if they make you happy. Whoa, I got carried away there. Anyway, let's take a look at my Disney mug collection. <laughs> So one of the earlier mugs in my collections gotta be uh, these from Disneyland. So I've got this blue one, okay. And then I've also got a green one. Let me show you that. These are from when I first moved out to LA. So, you know, these might be around, uh, these are definitely over 10 years old. And these are some of them, like these two maybe are my faves because of the detail on these and the land and I just, I, I, I think these are so cool. You know, now there'd be a little galaxy's edge over there, but uh, how neat is this? Taking you back, I mean, house of the future in there. Um, it's just awesome. I, I just love this whole style. I love this collection. I love everything about it. These are your standard ones. These are the coffee collection. And these these come, um, you can get these at the parks. You can get them online. Uh, I've had these also for a really long time and they got Mickey, Pluto. I know they got uh, Donald and Minnie also. What's a Disney mug collection without a Starbucks Disney mug? And this one is from Epcot, of course. And uh, this one features the World Showcase, all of the beautiful countries in the World Showcase. This is a really old one. It celebrates Mickey's 60th birthday. Uh, this was not part of my original collection that I bought, but um, I, I, I love this so much. Sticking with some vintage ones, let me show you this guy. How neat is this, huh? So this is a mini. And there's the Mickey. You gotta have the pair, right? <laughs> I love these so much. Uh, this guy is one of my favorites because it's so big. And this is from the 20th anniversary of the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. And you can see on the other side, there it is. Epcot Food and Wine 2015. 25th anniversary mug. I love this one and it's enormous. <laughs> Oversized mugs are my ideal because I drink a lot of coffee in the morning. This is one of my favorites and it's from Galaxy's Edge. I, I just, I love the feel of this one. Um, it has like a unfinished kind of feel to it. It just looks like it was, you know, handmade in, in Batu. Awesome, I love this one so much. Here's a fun Mickey mug. Yay, look at you, Mickey. This I love so much. Oswald, you know, has a very special place in my heart and this mug is very, very special to me. All the different variations of Oswald. You know, he's mad sometimes. 
or he's just happy, just chilling. Um, I really love him. Chip wins an award for, you know, one of the cutest, right? I mean, it's kind of a perfect copy of how he really looks. So I, I love, I love this one. <laughs> Aww. This is a fun one from Disney World because it represents all four parks. There's Animal Kingdom, there is Epcot, there is the Magic Kingdom, and there is Hollywood Studios. All packed into one mug o fun. This is from the new collection that just came out where they've got A to Z mugs. And I really love mine because my M is for Main Street. And you can't get much more iconic than Main Street, can you? So I was very happy with, with my M. <laughs> so thank you, I guess, parents for naming me Maxwell and Main Street starting with an M, I guess, right? Yeah. Let's go international now. Here's a mug from London. Mickey and Minnie, phone booth, it's raining. A very London scene for these two. <laughs> and then let's go to Disneyland Paris. So here, obviously, some iconic French monuments and Disney attractions on this one. Bonjour. Here is an M mug, but from Disneyland Paris. So was Disneyland Paris first with the letter mugs? I guess so. And I absolutely love this one because it's a Remy, obviously a Ratatouille mug. The size is awesome. The design on this is perfect and just feels very, very French. Like, does this one not feel authentic, right? Oh yeah. Beurre, brioche, sucre. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. This is a fun one as we come back to the US. It's the castle. I just love the brickwork on this. It, it is just, yeah, I really like this one a lot. Now we have some specialty mugs, okay? Check these out. This Mulan mug is just, it's just gorgeous, okay? Uh, I actually got this at the Disney store in Times Square, New York City. And it just, I, I, it's just stunning, okay? I mean, I love the craftsmanship on this guy. Um, it's just beautiful. You know, you could almost put flowers in this. You know, I think that would work really well. This is a really special one because looking at it from here, you're like, what's Disney about it? But then there it is. This is actually from Frozen, the Broadway musical. So the first time in forever, that's where they sold these. So these were specially made for Frozen on Broadway. And uh, they're just, Gorgeous, okay. And finally, I have one more to show you, and what doesn't seem special on this side? Oh, yeah, that is special, my friends. <laughs> That's really special. Club 33 doesn't need much else besides a beautifully crafted white mug, right? I mean, yeah. I haven't even taken the price tag off. Whoops. <laughs> I love this mug so much. It just sits there. <laughs> so there you go. There's my mug collection. Pretty cool, huh? Now, can you believe I actually... I, I, I got rid of some. Um, I really did. I, I got rid of some mugs because I just did too many. Um, and I'm donating them. Well, eventually. I just can't donate them right now because can't really give any, no one's accepting anything like that right now, but once, you know, we're all done and can go back to um, normal life again, I will donate the mugs, but this is my current mug collection, and it's, uh, honestly, it gives me great joy every morning to, I don't know, there's something about starting your day with, uh, you know, a little, little magic from Disney. Um, I may be groggy, but at least I know Mickey is there to help me start my 
day. Well, there you go, guys. Do you have a Disney mug collection? Do you have a mug problem? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what your favorite mug of mine is and what your favorite Disney mug is as well. Like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page. Have a magical day, everybody. Bye. Now I gotta put all these back in the cabinet.